my conversation with Yusek Q, siguro si Yusek Kinsay ito. Sino yung Yusek Q? Uh, Yusek Kitain, Your Honor. Kitain. And Senator BG. Sino po yung BG? Senator Bongo? Bongo, Your Honor. Were privileged communication or were considered highly confidential? What were those informations that you shared with Yusek Kitain and Senator Bongo na confidential? Alam uh, nyo na kung sino ang may kagagawan. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Colonel Grijaldo. Ito ba ang last name mo, Grijaldo? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, before, when were you assigned sa Mandaluyong? Before Mandaluyong, sir. Hindi. When were you assigned to the Mandaluyong City Police Force? Kailan? Uh, July, July 1st, sir, no? July 1st of 2020. Yes, sir. Yes. And where was your former assignment? Saan ka nang galing? I was uh, then the uh, uh, under the chief directorial staff in uh, National Capital Region, sir. The National Capital Region. Yes, yes, sir. Sigurado ko doon. Hindi ka galing sa Davao. Sir, uh, I came also uh, to work with uh, I, I also assigned during my uh, relax junior ka years. Mag-relax ka para masagot mo yung katanong ako ng yes, tama. Sir. Yes sir, uh, I was uh, assigned in uh, Davao region sir. Before you were assigned sa NCR command? Or, uh, or galing ka sa Davao, Diretso Mandaluyong? No, sir. Uh, Nasa hindi na ako, sir, sa uh, Region 7, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sige, thank you. Uh, Colonel Barando. Yes, Mr. Chair. Na-assign ka sa PCSO as part of the contingent ng CIDG. No 2020. Tama? Sir, uh, I was assigned in PCS officer as detail, sir. As? Detail, sir. Yes, I know. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, not, not, not as, not as a CADG, sir, but coming from PRO7, sir. PRO7. So, yes, ang nag-request sa'yo na pumunta sa PCS so ma-detail doon ay si Colonel Garma. Tama? Yes, Kasi magkasama kayo doon sa Region 7 eh. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. At uh, ikaw yung official na na-ambush na kasama mo yung asawa mo. Yes, sir. Kilala mo na kung sino umambush sa'yo o nagpa-ambush? I have uh, several suspects, sir. At least, uh, that's good enough kasi alam mo kung sino iilaga mo. Uh, for uh, for this uh, SITG, CIDG ano po yung mga motives na nakita niyo in your investigation report? In the report of uh, the SITG, sir the finding was uh, um to look into the previous assignment of uh, General Barayuga. Hindi, gusto ko lang yung tatlo na para mabilis tayo eh. Uh, First is, sabi kanina ni nyo kay uh, Honorable Castro, involvement sa drugs. Yes sir, the recommendation was, there was two recommendations, uh, the involvement in legal drugs and the, and the, and the possible um, anomalies in PCSO which resulted in the filing of cases by the NBI case PCSO officials. Now, may I know yung uh, basis ng anomalies sa PCSO? Just like, like what anomalies? Uh, Your Honor, sir, I'm not uh, private to that, sir. Um, I, I will uh, 
check with the record sir sa CIDG sir. And according to your report, meron po kayong fina may final yung NBI na kaso against PCSO for corruption? Would that be correct? The description by the uh, SITG is alleged anomalies in PCSO. Okay. Now, have you ever conducted a background investigation on the late uh, attorney Wesley Parayoga? Yes, sir. I think the investigators have conducted the background investigation on the, uh, on the person of uh, John Parayoga, sir. And may I know what was the finding of that background investigation? Um, in the discussion during case conferences, it was uh, found out that uh, General Barayuga has a modest lifestyle and uh, actually doesn't have a vehicle used from, uh, from home to his uh, uh, workplace. And uh, accordingly, he has this uh, Toyota Innova, but uh, it's being used by his uh, son. And normally he uses he he commutes from uh, from his home to. In other words, uh, the late Wesley Barayoga is a simple man or was a simple man. Hindi wala sa sakyan. Yung sakyan yung inova ginagamit pa ng kanyang anak. Those were the findings of our investigators. Even when he was assigned sa PCSO, simply simply siya wala siya sa sakyan. Ang ginagamit niya public transportation. Tama? That was the findings of yes. the investigators. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, ito pong issue na ito ay nagdala ng tension between the Lacans, yung graduate ng Philippine National Police Academy, at saka Cavaliers na graduate ng Philippine Military Academy. Kasi yung pinatay ay graduate ng Philippine Military Academy Class of 83, at yung alleged na nagplano ay members ng LACAN uh, Class 96 at ang ginamit ay Class 2006 where Colonel Mendoza belong, right? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. At ito ay hindi po connected sa war on drugs. Ginamit ito na issue laban kay... Uh, kay uh, attorney Wesley Barayuga for their selfish o yung kagaya na sinasabi kanina ni Honorable Lago selfish or personal interest let me start General Pinile you were the one who recruited the uh, attorney Barayuga tama po ba? Uh, yes your honor Mr. Chair why? because, because uh, siya. he was my classmate and a lawyer yes and uh, you know for a fact na may mga issues between Colonel Garma, the general manager, and your corporate board secretary. Tama po ba? I have no personal knowledge but uh, I know that my classmate is a very honorable man. He is not... Uh, is not uh, a fan of asking, chewing. I'm not asking whether the late uh, attorney Barayoga is an honorable man na established na kanina. Simple, simple lang yung tao. Wala nang sasakyan pag pumapasok. And that is true. Alam mo yun, di ba? Plasmit mo eh. Yes, sir, Omar. Yes. Do not describe him already. Uh, na-established na yung uh, fact na yun. What we are trying to establish is the motive why he was killed or he was murdered. Diba? Yes, I know. Yes. Uh, so, you deny knowing the issues uh, between uh, your general manager, Colonel Garma, and your corporate board secretary. Hindi mo alam yun? Ikaw ang chairman? Can I explain your honor? Uh, last March of 2020, 2020, I was in Davao and we are doing a board meeting online and my board secretary, since he's the one uh, collecting all reports, is always in the office. So from March 
to June, July 30, I was up in the office. So I don't really know their, uh, their issues, but I know that uh, my board secretary is not issuing board certificates if all the board members have not signed. So maybe that's the reason why he was targeted. Because I know that uh, granting of authority to operate is solely given to the GM. So baka meron silang problema doon and I don't have personal knowledge of their issues. Your Honor. You do not have personal knowledge. Yes, Your Honor. Pero alam mo na may may mga hindi napipirmahan ng board na nire-request ni Chair GM Garma na mangyari. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Kasi uh, the, your general manager wanted to increase the number of franchises ng STL at gustong ipasok yung perya ng bayan. I I have an uh, inkling on that, Your Honor. Yes. You have an inkling? Mas yes. alam ko pa kaysa yun na general manager ka. Uh, on the issue of perihan ng bayan. Uh, because it's a illegal thing. Yes. And may I know, if uh, during that time, after the death of uh, Attorney Wesley Barayuga, you texted his wife, I, I maybe I inform her, Your Honor, because uh, my classmate was killed, and uh, be, and I'd say classmate, and also the, the chairman. Um, but it's my obligation to inform her, Your Honor. That is your obligation, right? Yes, Your Honor. And you inform her, na meron kayong parang separate investigation group to look into it. Tama rin po ba? Uh, it's uh, because, you know, Your Honor, uh, I inform our uh, class president on how to solve this problem. So in order to relieve the pain of uh, the wife of my classmate, I inform her that uh, we have a parallel investigation so that uh, it will be facilitated. And also, uh, Your Honor, uh, the class and uh, other uh, concerned groups uh, posted a one million bounty for those who, who can help facilitate the investigation. So, uh, I would like only to, to tell this, Your Honor, that during the week, I was approached by the brother of my classmate. Uh, sir, sana sir, hindi sana ito maging statistics lang. Kaya we assured him, kasi yung brother ni late Wesley is also a general in the fire service, I think. Yes. Pero... Uh, doon sa itinex mo kay Mrs. Pinili, and I have a copy of your text, you said something about the phrase privilege. Uh, I would like to uh, read a part of it. Uh, good morning, Mr. Sara. Hope you are doing fine and able to cope with the tragic loss of Wesley. My conversation with Yusek Q, siguro si Yusek Kinsa ito, Sino yung Yusek Q? Uh, Yusek Kitain, Your Honor. Kitain. And Senator BG. Sino po yung BG? Senator Bongo? Bongo, Your Honor. Were privileged communication or were considered highly confidential? What were those informations that you shared with Yusek Kitain and Senator Bongo na confidential? Hindi na confidential ngayon kasi masusold na yung kaso eh. Uh, regarding uh, 
Uh, Your Honor, uh, I said this because uh, we have also already known the motive. So I reported this to, uh, to let, them. Let me stop you there, please. You have known the motive? Uh, yes, already, Your Honor. Ano yung motive na lang yun know? Now, the, the issues now... Uh, ano yung motive na alam nyo nun? Pakisagot lang yung aking katanungan kasi nanggaling po sa bunganga nyo po yun eh. Uh, it was already been na... Uh, alam uh, nyo na kung sino ang may kagagawan. Would that be correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And for four years, you have suppressed it. You and some members of your class Diba? Or you want me to show proof of that? Alam niyo totoo ng nangyari, but you never did anything about it. Why? Because of fear. Am I correct? Partly, Your Honor. Partly, and which part is not true? Hindi ka makasabot. Anyway, bahala ka na sa iyong mga classmates. Dapat ka, nagsasabi ka na ng buong katotohanan dito eh. Dahil masosold na iyong pagkamatay ng classmate mo. Now, may I ask the PCSO, when were the vehicle used by, uh, when was the vehicle used by Attorney Barayuga issued to him? Uh, Your Honor, may we be given a time to present the record because we don't have the records right now? Siguro pwede naman yung tawagan kung sino man ang nakakaalam. Sino man nakakaalam? Kasi yun po sana ang pinaupo ko dyan eh. Para uh, hindi po tayo magtagal. Actually, Your Honor, the office is showing the MR, the memorandum receipt is the Assets and Supplies Management Department and not the General Services Department. Yeah, because, Madam, I was informed or from my informants in-issue yung vehicle na yun dahil nahihirapan yung tropa ni Colonel Mendoza na ipinpoint yung movement niya. Kasi, sabi ko nga, gumagamit siya na public transportation. Hindi ba, General Pinili? Uh, uh, my classmate, I know him personally because we are eating during lunch time. Nagbabaon? Nagbabaon siya. Yes. Babaon siya. And, uh, Pero gumagamit siya ng public transportation. Yes, sir. Because yes. according to him, exercise din to. Yes. Kasi nahihirapan na yung uh, naatasan na yariin siya eh. Nahihirapan. Why? Dahil gumagamit siya ng transportation. Walang pattern. At madaming madadamay kung upakan mo kung nasa public transport, uh, transportation. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Kung nag-imbestiga kayo ng tama, tapos na sana ito. Kung gusto nyo tapusin, tapos na rin sana ito. Hindi, hindi ngayon lang matatapos. Tama? Tama? Yes, Your Honor. Yes.